Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a realistic glow around 2D objects in Lens Studio. But first, I want to make an announcement that I finally created a Discord server and this Discord community is about creating lenses for Lens Studio and Spark ER. If you want to stay updated when I'm working on a new video or just want to meet some new friends in general, you are also more than welcome to join this community. I'll leave a link in the description which you can use to join this Discord server. I'll see you there. Let's jump right into the tutorial. First, we will have to add a uh, 3D model to our scene. This can be any 3D object, of course, but in this case, I'll be using uh, a sphere. It's very easy to add a sphere. You just click on the top. Then we go to sphere. Just click on it right there. And we also need to add a, a script to our resource panel. Just drag and drop it into the resource panel right there. We need a uh, scene object. Just right click, create one, drag and drop it into the inspector panel. And there you see a lot of values and if you want to download the script join the discord and just look on the hashtag resources channel and there you will find it we also need a few uh, materials to make this effect work you can also find these materials in the discord server just drag and drop them into the resources panel and there you go okay we are now gonna create um, some rendered targets and it's very easy just click on the plus right there click on render target and I will be naming this um, blur target like so uh, there you see some options we don't need to change that just add another one like so render target and call that um, bloom target okay so we have to add a new material to our uh, resources panel just click on the plus again then look for unit material right here it creates some textures and there's the material just click on the material it will pop up some options um, like so and the things that we need to disable you know, are death test and uh, death right because we don't need them right now we're not looking for death and we have to enable uh, alpha and then at the blend mode we're gonna use um, add and the texture right here we're going to change that to the bloom target and uh, yeah then we are done with this as you can see we now added all our uh, resources to the resource panel so we're ready to go and add them to the script First, I'm gonna right click, rename it, and rename it to um, Glow. You can rename it to whatever you want. In this case, I'll just be using Glow. And then at the right, you have all these values. So first, click on the camera, select your camera, and then objects for Bloom. It's very important that you select your uh, 3D model. I'll be selecting my square. And then at the Bloom value, you will be selecting the um, highlight right here. Yes, there we go, okay. At the blur section, we will be selecting the blur vertical first and then the blur horizontal, doesn't really matter. You can play with that and um, then the blur target, just select the blur target and the mixed material will be the under material that we created. And then you got like this effect, we have to glow around it, but it doesn't look correct yet. And it's important that you change the layer number to layer uh, 1. And then you can see that it will be uh, fine. You can change it to whatever you want. Three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't really matter. Just keep it on one. So we are basically done with our glow. As you can see, there's some glow around the object. To make it even more realistic, we can add some shadow to it. So how can we add some shadow to it? First thing you gotta do is go to your 3D object and select the shadow mode and change it to caster. Uh, you can also make your object a little bit bigger so it will show up better. You can change the position to have it float like this but it doesn't show the shadow yet because we have to enable the shadow and how do you enable the shadow click on the light and click this little box right here shadows still doesn't appear because we don't have a floor so we're gonna add a shadow plane and this will help you with the shadow now we have to click on the camera at the top and add a new component we will be adding the component called device tracking and keep the tracking mode on surface this will let Lens Studio know that we want our 3D object on a surface. We want our 3D object to be movable so we can move it, scale it and rotate it. But first we are going to create a scene object, you can call this a controller. And then we are adding a new component. First we are adding the touch component, select your camera and also select your 3D object. And then we are going to add the manipulate component right here. We are going to create another scene object and call this uh, 3D models. You can call this whatever you want of course it doesn't really matter but i will be calling this 3d models um the scene object will basically work as a group for our 3d objects so let's add them real quick uh, we can put the sphere on top it doesn't really matter but this works perfectly fine 
and then we are also moving the scene object into our controller at the squip like so and everything now is combined and works very well the shadow the glow the objects are all moving together when you move the object if you want to change the glow of your object you can do that very easily by clicking on your unit material right here and then just change the color to whatever you want but it doesn't update yet because we have to restart our lens and there you go we have our red glow you can also change this color again to whatever you want uh, let's take blue for example it's also a very nice color make sure to restart your lens again and there it shows up very nicely we can also change the material of the object itself you can just create a new pbr material right here and after you've created this pbr material you can drag and drop it onto your 3d model right there we cannot like see it yet because we have to change some of the parameters so let's say for example we go to the color and select a blue color like that and that will fit with the glow as you can see we can even make a little bit lighter so let's say for example we want to add more glow to our object well it's very easy you can just go to your blur materials right here and there you have these values so you can change them to 300 and change this one also to 300 and as you can see there's a little bit more glow around the object we can even add more glow just by lowering the amount let's say for example we take 150 and as you can see we now added some more glow around our object that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated when i upload a new video also let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions and i will see you in the next video